Last time on Africa's Next Top Model, it okay, was love. Joyce from Nigeria who got the boot. You're staying? Joyce, I'm sorry. Now we are down to the top six and the heat is on. Do you want to be here? So if you don't want this, you need to make up your mind. I felt that Michaela doesn't want to be here. They should rather send her home and have Joyce stay. Joyce really wanted this. I think uh, someone, I don't know who, tell Eno Luci or in the judges, she don't want to be here, so why is she here? I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's okay to miss your family. I'll miss my family. Okay, it's okay. And all the cry now and be happy tomorrow, you know? Like I told you the other day, cry and get it out of your system, and then tomorrow you feel better. Okay. If you win this competition, you win a contract in New York. If Michaela can handle it here, how would she be able to handle it in New York? I don't want to talk about um, me, about my family. I don't want to talk about nothing in my life anymore. So please, don't question me again. Coming up on Africa's Next Top Model. Talking. The credit card in David's teeth. You can put the credit card in David's undies. Great. I open my jacket and I have Dave holding my breasts, covering me up. He was pretty excited about holding Chandra's boobs. It was you, Chandra. It was you. Sorry, Cape Town. I would like to sit with her and just have a quick chat. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we should speak. Yeah. Okay. Mine? Yeah. No. Thank you. All right, for Luigi. And uh, next, she make me cry because she go talk to me about uh, everything, about uh, this competition, uh, about uh, my life. I feel better because of Joyce leaving. She's a She was great... close to you? You were close? No, exactly, but she's a great model. And I feel in my last shot, I don't do well, so I am feel bad. Listen, it's not an easy, overall, it's not an easy competition. I believe in you, you know? I believe in what you could become. I went to eight countries, Michaela. Eight countries scouting for girls. I will not look away and let you go in the wrong direction. It is not going to happen. Because of fear of money, because of fear of paying your rent. It is not going to happen. Give me a hug. No problem. Okay, you're gonna be okay. You make mama and papa proud, okay? Okay, 
Okay. So, ladies, guess you all have been missing your boyfriends or just missing hanging with guys, right? 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tomorrow, you will be shooting a campaign, and I think you're going to like your co-star. I'm a bitch. Is it just car store or car stores? Co-star. Living in a house full of girls for so long is driving me crazy. To have a little bit male interaction will do me good. No, I only want my boyfriend. Only my boyfriend. Today's challenge is going to be interesting because we will see who can concentrate and keep their eyes on the prize and not on other things, if you know what I mean. I don't know if I, I am missing hanging out with guys because my mind isn't there at this moment. I mean, all my mind is is to try and focus, 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 focus. Wondering who will be wearing the trousers? Are we gonna be naked? <laughs> <laughs> Who's wearing the trousers? So there's definitely some nudity here. This is a reward challenge. Should you win best picture, Snap will take you and two friends on a VIP girls' night out. <laughs> so one of Cape Town's hottest cocktail lounges. I'm just imagining lots of money, which There's is one of my favorite this. things, and a sexy man, which is also one of my favorite things. <clears throat> Possibly naked, which is also one of my favorite things. <laughs> it will be very great to get out of the house in a night scene or, you know, nighttime in Cape Town. We've never had that. We've always been with the girls in the house and everybody in your face, stress levels going high, you know, so it will be great for a change to, you know, actually unwind. Today's shoot is at one of Cape Town's oldest landmarks called the Castle. We arrive at this very beautiful, humongous castle um, in the heart of Cape Town somewhere. I think we were all just a little bit starstruck, like, oh, who used to walk here? Who used to live here? It was great. Cape Town Castle is amazing. It was built in 1666 and it was used for a refueling station for ships on their way to India. I don't know if it's like the usual daily ceremony that they do at the castle, but then these very dressed up ceremonial looking guards have their whole ceremonial um, um, display. And I see soldiers. I'm scared of guns, man. But I like a guy in a suit and a uniform. We get an entrance with some of the soldiers, which was really amazing. We got to see how to fire a cannon. I feel amazing. <laughs> it's a real castle. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We walk into the bell tower, and all the girls are standing there pretending like they're wanting to ring the bell. And there's a sign reading, don't ring the bell. It was you, Sharon, yeah? It was you! <laughs> she Andre, she rang the bell. She didn't know it would ring. <laughs> and then she decided to run out and pretend like she didn't do anything. So the whole of Cape Town thinks it's 12 o'clock now. But it's actually around 10. Sorry, Cape Town. I don't know what to expect. I'm not gonna think about it. I'll deal with it when I get there. Whenever we try and think about what's happening, we're always wrong. 
After 15 successful years as an international model, Josie went behind the lens and now have a successful career as a photographer, having shot for the likes of Italian L, US Interview Magazine, and a host of other South African publications. There's no one better to guide the girls. Welcome to Cape Town. How beautiful is the setting? Hey, Table Mountain. We today are going to be shooting a menswear attire. You will be slightly androgynous, which is you will be female, but dressed in men's clothes. Josie's telling us that the shoot's going to be an androgynous style. Wait a second, I thought we were meeting guys, not being one. Bring us the guys, bring us the guys. We don't want to be guys ourselves, we want to hang out with the guys. I mean... You're going to be dominant, you're going to be sexy, you're going to be in control, and you're going to have a very beautiful male model as your prop. <laughs> Show yourself! Dominant, Josie says. I can do a dominant. Today's shoot is an advertorial for InterSwitch Verb debit card. Money is power. And for these shoots, the girls needs to be powerful, strong, and dominant next to a male model. You will be in your suit and your debit card. I'm not quite sure who's paying for what. He might be giving it back to you, or you might be giving it to him to put some clothes on. Because did I mention to you, he is nearly naked. <laughs> Now we're talking. Bring that guy out. Come and meet him. Cool. Ladies! <laughs> Dave Kababa! <laughs> oh my god. You look familiar. Amito is gonna love this. We're gonna work it. So game on. Uh, how you guys been? Good. And are you guys sad that the other that the other girls left? Yes and no. Yes and no. Yes and no. Yes and no. But yes, because yours you're yeah. stuck here and then they No, because we missed them. Yeah, well keep on working hard, you know? Yeah. You know, and then can't wait to see who the winner will be. It's how really tall are really clean. How tall am I? Yeah. I'm one nine three centimeters. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just trying to angle myself so I don't look like a ninja. <laughs> no, you won't be. So I don't look like a ninja standing. No, you're a model, so you're taller enough. It's all right. Yeah, it's all checking. good. The girls just can't control themselves. It's actually embarrassing. <laughs> and Amito just keeps flirting away. Those girls were asking so many questions. I thought it was a dating show. <laughs> Let, let's say you're posing with another semi-nude lady. Oh, and oh, she's yeah. all over you and touching oh, yeah. you. How do you control yourself from uh, all this? Obviously, you know? at first it was a little hard, but I mean, uh, eventually you realize that... You realize, <laughs> eventually you realize that they're not doing it for you, that it's work. I just had to take you there, you know? I just had to fish it out of him. And Michelle just couldn't stop laughing for that one. It's getting a little bit Freudian over here. Okay. You can put the credit card in David's teeth. You can put the credit card in David's undies. She's so good to shoot. She's great to shoot. I open my jacket and I have Dave holding my breasts, covering me up. Today, the girls will be wearing men's wear design from fashion designer Craig Pot's signature brand, Pot. Not only does Craig have nine different labels, he also designs in a multitude of disciplines, including accessories, underwear, swimwear, fragrances, and furniture. He has shown the fashion shows around the world and dresses celebrities and rock stars. So the girls had better rock it today. Are you comfortable doing something like this? You know, having like a yeah. guy no. that close to you? Mm -mm. You're not comfortable with it. Are you scared? No, you no, I'm not scared. Oh, Actually, okay. I do normal. All the other girls like him. I don't know why. 
He's a simple man like everyone. Just remember, you are dominant, strong, in control. You're the boss. David, just move a little closer to her and Michaela, move a like a uh, half a foot back. Yes. Ashley, he don't do nothing. You need to do everything. Like a beautiful, strong woman and sexy and I pay everything, so you need down for me, blah, blah, blah. But don't hold him like that. Maybe hold his cheek. Nice. Michaela, your elbow must be a little bit more facing this way. I'm not bossy, am I? <laughs> no. What gave you that idea? <laughs> That's all for the best. No, man, you did good. You did good. She wasn't bad. I mean, she wasn't, for me, she wasn't amazing either. So I, I, what I, the way I'm going to be able to judge it at the end of the day is once I've shot all of them, because then I can see which girl really gave it. I, I, you feel the moment. It's like a dance. When I find out that Josie is the photographer, I begin to shake because she's one of the judges and now she's going to be our photographer for the day. It's a bit nerve-wracking because she's going to judge every single thing. She's going to judge your professionalism. She's going to judge the way you interact with other people on set. She's going to judge the way you give her energy while shooting. She's going to judge everything. This shoot is made for you because you've got those angles. You've got the height. This is, this is your shoot, actually, because you, you exude this kind of a dominant, kind of an independent, not aggressive, but, you know, strong, Look, you can put the credit card here, you can put the credit card in David's teeth, you can put the credit card in David's undies. I'll put the credit card in his underwear. No. Kidding. So you have a plan? No, that's <laughs> just what Josie told me. The cutest thing about Dave is that he's so young. <laughs> he's only 17 and a half. So your parents will be cool if they see a picture of some guy Yay. naked, like right next to you. Though. They'll be like, oh, she's a professional, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's good, you know? Darling, will you marry me? It depends how much money you have in that credit card. You know, I th Amita, I think it's great, but I, if I was you, I would really utilise your other arm with that elbow sticking out because it just, it just, just somehow it looks better. He could also embrace you, something like that. That looks great. And then put your chin up a little bit more, uh, uh, Amito. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Well done. Well done, guys. Okay. I think it's going to be cool to work with Dave. I mean, we've never actually worked shot with another human before. Just goats. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think it's got to be nice. And like Amito said, he seems to be quite interactive with you. So, it should be fun. For this challenge, we only have 30 frames, which go like that. And then I've only got three minutes to have a chat with Dave and figure out what I want from the shoot. I don't want to do anything too cliche -y. Okay, like model one. Yeah, but like, even if there's like an intimate pose, still yeah. like mm -hmm. power, obviously. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like it when your legs are open. Dave made the whole environment really comfortable and obviously his brief was to follow the instructions from the girls. Very nice. It was really nice working with Josie. She actually made the shooting environment really fun and pleasant to be in. Thank you, well done. Thank you. That was fun. Go team, go team. <laughs> She's so good to shoot. She's great to shoot. So I really enjoyed it. Could also Pace go on the floor. Like yeah, sure. Okay. I could also go on the floor if you want me to. Just whatever poses whatever, yeah. you think is dominating. And we'll just freestyle and just go okay, with the floor. Um. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, that you can touch my face. You can, you can do whatever. Maybe a bit like a spider or something. I love the way you're standing, Oppie. Normally, I can't really judge by how shoot, the shoot goes until you get to the slaughterhouse. That's the elimination. David is really working well with you, Oppie. I think you're really controlling him. Like, 
He needs to be controlled. <laughs> you two were made for each other. Great, you guys are doing a fantastic job. I didn't want any of my friends to waste, you know, and I kept connecting with Josie, I kept connecting with um, Dave, you know. Beautiful, guys, well done. Thank you. Beautiful. Well done. I think Opie was amazing. I loved, I loved what she did. And, you know, the thing about her is she's tall enough to dominate him, so she was able to be on the same level. I have my ways with dominating. Because it's all about you, you need to, like, you need to tell me exactly what you want, you know, because, I mean, this is your picture, so don't, don't think that you're being bossy. I'm just, you know, we're both working, so. I have a few poses planned. One of them is to get him on his knees. It feels good to have a guy that has to do exactly what you say. You can do what you want. Ooh, that is... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think myself and Josie really connected during this shoot. There were sparks flying. I could feel that she was inspired, which made me inspired, which that is a model's job. You have to inspire your photographer to get the best shots. Beautiful. So at the end of my shoot, I decide that I'm going to leave with a bang. I open my jacket and I have Dave holding my breasts, covering me up. I almost thought it fell into my pants. <laughs> Is it, is my angle okay? Okay, and two more. Just from a model's point of view, the fact that she was prepared to go there just is great. Because for, for a photographer, you want, you, want to, you want to push the limits of your picture. You don't want just people standing around. And the fact that she was ready to do that was super cool. I get stuck. You know, when I want to focus on what I want to do, then I always think of what they did and don't do something that they did. So your, well, your train of thoughts is like drifting away from what you were thinking to them. Chandra, me and Dave are in a little chat, you know, trying to get our heads into me going in and she coming out, giving me a little pep talk about what, what's, what's happening and stuff like that. I mean, what I still have in mind is still there, that's sitting good. in some corner, yeah, that's good. and then whatever else is going around me is also going around. It's fine. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck to you. Looking forward to hers. I want to see. Uh... <laughs> no, don't do that. So we are two very different Oh, no, people. yeah, of course. Don't of course. try to set the bar. I think Dave said that because he... He was pretty excited about holding Chandra's boobs. So for him, for Dave, it's like raising the bar for him. I'm like, screw that. Don't try to give me any unnecessary pressure right now. No, you don't look, you don't look very in control there. For some reason, you look kind of a, I don't know, you were just doing something. That didn't, yeah. Just remember, you're the independent, dominant, strong, confident woman. Okay, I can't see the card. Won't you bring your foot out so I can see it a little bit? Yeah, like that, thank you. Okay, on your mark, get set, three more frames. Whoa. Oh, whoa. oh whoa. and she went down. She knew she was gonna do that. Worst thing that could ever happen to a model on a shoot is for you to fall face flat, you know, on the ground. And it almost happened to me, I mean, I almost went flat, you know, these damn cobblestones almost took me out, you know. Okay, last one, even though I've given you more than your fair share. Well done, congratulations. I told you you'd get it in the last frame. Finished! Good. <laughs> Rosslyn was not great in the beginning. She really struggled to find a position. She obviously didn't really get that whole dominatrix kind of a um, thing, but I did like when she started digging her claws into his skin. It, 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 it started me getting ideas of what she, where we could go, and I think literally she got it in the last frame. Hi ladies, you all know the deal.
The overall winner of this competition will walk away with a modeling contract with DNA Model Management in New York and $50,000 cash prize. Before we start today's elimination, let's say hello to our amazing judges. Model icon and photographer, Josie Borain. <laughs> Resident judge and photographer, Remy Adetiba. And our special guest judge for today, the man responsible for those amazing suits you guys wore, Craig Pott. For your last challenge, you were all dressed in menswear and you were supposed to be strong and sexy and that challenge was for the Verb debit card by InterSwitch. Let's see how you all did. We're gonna start with Amito. Hi Amito. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. How did you like the shoot? It was very fun and interesting. I saw the other side of Josie and it was really nice. Yeah, I had a good time. Okay, let's look at your best picture. You definitely cracked it in that shot. The end result was very powerful. Try to inspire the photographer so she gets more out of you, but I like that you're keeping this moneymaker in mind because that face is gonna take you wherever you wanna go. I'm looking at this photograph today and this is an iconic photograph. It stands out to me. You look absolutely incredible. Iconic? All yeah, the way up absolutely. there? Absolutely. Oh, she, she, kind so of, high. she kind of commands it. She commands what she's wearing. It's very hard to wear a man's, a man's suit, and you wear it and make it look feminine but strong. For me, it's a, it's a good job, Amita. That's what I say. Thank you. Next up is Shandri. Shandri was uh, great to work with. Oh, she was? Yeah, she was, she was fantastic. She, you know, for, when a photographer and a model meet each other in the middle, you can make amazing, you can work really well together. What, what I get from this photograph, Jandre, is that you're very comfortable in your own skin. And I, I sense that there. You, you come to with your sexuality, with your sensuality, and you're showing enough of yourself, but keeping yourself a bit reserved. And I actually like that. I, I love that about you in this photograph because you are, again, in command of him. You're in command of your own body, the way your body moves. And you, your eyes are immediately drawn to you. Michaela. In the beginning, she was quite stiff. Um, she was the only one who actually utilized David in that way. Okay. She kind of a, I like the way she's grabbing her lapel like that and she's doing that thing with her hand. I, she was, you actually were the only one who did that. You have the look. Every time you walk here, I look at you and you're gorgeous. You have the look where you don't need to be a talented singer, you probably sell a million albums. You don't have to be that great an actress, you'd probably do well on TV. The one thing that you probably need more in order to succeed in is modeling. When you walked out here today, I was blown away. And I wasn't blown away with this photograph, to be honest. But when I see you here, you take my breath away. You are an incredible beauty. You have everything that it takes. Okay, thank you. But well done, Michaela. Next up is Michelle. Josie? I think that's great. I love the way she's standing. I love the way David's standing. He seems quite submissive even though he's strong. Your face is literally burning through the lens on that shot. You don't have a problem with intensity or, 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 or kind of spark. You're fantastic here. Just always remember length. And I think you kind of tried to do that with lengthening of the leg there. So it's almost successful and you know, but you're, Completely graceful in the shot. I think you did you did a good job. Thank you. Yeah. I think she did a great job. Yeah. It's gonna be a very difficult elimination day. Very difficult. That's today. all I can say. You know what? Oppie nailed it. I think she did a really good whoop, job with her. Thank you. With Daisy. him. Whose idea was to have Dave around you like that? How did you guys end up there? The two of you, I mean, you and Dave, what's going on? I can't tell where one ends and the other begins. <laughs> it was Josie that suggested that. And he wrapped all his hair around him. Yes, and there was one time he was like, here, yeah. I'm like, oh. mind yourself. <laughs> okay. 
this, this photograph also stands up there with me as, as an iconic shot. You know, it's, it draws your attention straight to you. Everything else is secondary. There's nothing else you look at. You don't look at him, you don't look at the castle, you don't even look at my unbelievable suit that you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look at that. You just, I see, I see this. It's believable. Yeah, yes. it's believable. Yeah. Mm. Wrestling. And I must say, Josie's done an amazing job with these girls today. Yes, yeah, sure. really, Josie. Good I'd work, like, Jobo. Yeah. Hi, Ruslan. Hi. I like your um, Kinte uh, yeah. fabric yes. shirt. Yes, thank You're you. You're representing Ghana, Ghana. today. Yes. <laughs> Let's look at your best picture. Yeah. I like that picture. Josie, I mean, what do you have to say about how it's, it's, it's quite an interesting picture because um, she, with the way her arm is hanging like that, she looks a bit like a rag doll, slightly like a rag doll. And he's holding her up, which is quite nice. And, and she did have to be strong in the picture. And that rag doll, that hand just hanging down there, it, it, it doesn't give me a sense of, of, of um, her being um, in control. This is probably your best shoot from a facial perspective. You, you nailed so many of the shots, but your body positioning in many cases was really awkward. I like that you did that. Your face looks beautiful, but there's a bit of, yeah, did you struggle to wear a man's suit? I mean, were you feeling? I was more conscious about the fact that it was bigger. Too big, yeah. yeah so some of the poses, if you do it, like you lose your neck because the shoulder pads keep raising. It's much yeah. higher. Yes. From a marketing point of view, I mean, I just, I like I like the way the guy is sort of holding um, her up, holding her and looking, you know, at her face. And I like the fact that she's holding the card, you know, the verve mm. card up mm -hmm. really nicely. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Us judges will deliberate. When you come back, we'll let you know which one of you will be leaving us. So what are we thinking, guys? I think it's going to be a hard one. I agree. Um, I, I... But hands, hands out, I think she Andrew did a great job, and she looks exceptional. She, okay. So we move her to the and side. She's, We're not going she's to won that. several challenges from day one. Mm -hmm. Okwemi did well. Stella. Very well. Um, what what do we Amito. think about Michelle from the very beginning, long run, to now? For me, Michelle, her only her height, problem. Michelle's height has never bugged me mm. at all. It's in always any way. bugged me. It's yeah. always bugged you. Mm. And her body type. And her body. And, and her, her body type. Okay, so what, what are we thinking about Michaela? You know what the problem I have with Michaela is she, she doesn't have the drive. No. She's not ambitious. When someone like that slips through the cracks of the modeling world, I'm so sad yeah. about it because she's an exceptional beauty. What do we think about Russell? That's a girl of, who wants it. Out of all these photographs, I find Rosalind's photograph the weakest. Okay, and the weakest photograph. The, the weakest photograph. I think she's got great potential, and so it's the case of, well, her, would I keep her over a Michelle, even though I loved Michelle's photo? But I would too. As I the mean, competition gets, you know, closer and closer, we, we, we need to, unfortunately, just sort of look at the bigger picture and not just at the individual actual challenge that we're facing yes yeah. you know um overall it's very tough huh? i mean i mean when i look at them i'm overwhelmed mm. by the incredible talent and beauty you have on africa's next top model it's mm. incredible Thank i mean you. it's Thank really you. That's no, a it's nice a blown away to have six it's really tough it's neck and neck at this point i mean you've got a, a tough decision amongst ourselves i think you're you the, the the next model to go home is on your bottom row over here. That's a very good point. And, I think and here we are. Let's call them back in. We have reached our decision. I have six of you standing before me, but only have five cards in my hands. And these five images represent the girls that would continue towards becoming Africa's next top model. The first name that I'm going to call is the name voted by the judges as the best picture in this challenge. Amito. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Okbayemi. Okay. 
She handle. Michaela. Congratulations. Ooh. Michelle and Ruslan, step forward, please. How are you feeling, Michelle? Nervous. Is this your first time being at the bottom, too? Yes. I'm nervous. It's very nervous. I'm praying in my head right now. As we get to the middle of the competition, we unfortunately have to look at the overall picture from the beginning to now. I'm sorry, Michelle, you're leaving us. set in. I think that I'm going home. It meant a lot. I mean, the whole experience was really great. <sighs> really sad, obviously. Um, but I mean, I worked with great people. I made some great friends. And it's not over. I think that's what people forget, that whether you're here or not, and you're going home, it's not over. It's what you make of it. You from day one, okay? I loved you from day one. From okay? Sorry. Sorry that you didn't. It's okay. You have to make me proud. And we'll go out tonight because I'm going to. <laughs> so I meet her. She's coming out. Who else is coming out? Because I'm coming too. Okay, I'll take Chandra because she really wants to go out. <laughs> she said it all over. She's like, if you go, if you must choose me. So, yeah. No, but she said, I'm going to bed tonight. <laughs> so. Amita won the challenge and she also won the snap reward. She chose me and Michelle to go with her, which is great. And then we heard Oluchi's coming with us. This is going to be such a fun night. Please, lay my bed. We got it. No! 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 Please get out of the car. I need to sit. Okay. Guide me, guide me. What are you doing here? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I'm oh, so oh, jealous oh, of this. Seriously. Excuse me. Are you getting there? Are you getting there? Are you getting there? Are you getting there? So please. The door is wide open. Get the f out so I can take my seat. Okay? Come in. Get out. <laughs> Amita was having none of that. She was like, girls, get out of my car. So, Amita, make a toast. Um, to winning the challenge. Yes. And to having you for a night out. Yes. yes. I don't like go out tonight, so it's okay. I don't mind. I go with Oluchi. Really? Hmm. Okay. That's the only part I'm jealous about. Because then jealous? you'll be able to sit and tell her all their problems and sell their market. <laughs> I really 
think, I mean, we're having fun as well. I mean, they think they've gone out and they're having fun and so I changed it out of the house. But we are equally having fun as well. Thank you. This is gonna be nice. Yes. What happened to the rest of the girls? You guys left them at home? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Were they jealous? Oh, yeah. Of course. They start in our label. Yeah. <laughs> she had to chase them out, actually. They didn't want to get out. Oh, they out. came in the car with yeah. you guys? Oh, in the limo. In the limo. <laughs> Excuse Not the car, me. The limo. <laughs> oh, anyway, so like I was saying, the party <laughs> in this room is going to be strictly by IV. <laughs> we go out and we have a nice chat with Luchi and the one thing she said to us is that you have to be nice to everyone but without forgetting who you really are, you know. There's the real life and there's the work life. You have to sort of know how to differentiate, differentiate those two. And then once you're in the work life, you have a different cap on your head. This is work. I would give you 150% because it pays the bills. And then at the end of the day, take your shoes off and you can relax and chill, then the real you can have your real time. Unfortunately, this is the real world. Whether it's fashion or it's not fashion, it's just the way the world is. Having a little girly chat with Oluji is really something I needed to hear. It's good to hear advice, real advice, from someone who's been there, done that, got the t-shirt. When it's work, you go in, you wear a different cap, and you give it 150%. Fake if you have to fake at work. But knowing that it's work, that's why you're doing that. If only they teach us that in college. Yeah. <laughs> fake it till you make it, baby. Let's think about the fact that we are having a blast yeah. equally. Mm -hmm. F them. Next time on Africa's Super Next Top Model. Oh, jeez, do you think? What? Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. What did I sign up for? <laughs> this is supposed to be Africa's Next Top Model, not Africa's Fear Factor or something. <laughs>